We're hopping right to it on this episode, right to the fishing. It is the New Year's of 2024. We have a beautiful, crispy afternoon. It's 3 p.m. already, a little late in the day, but we're trying to get out for one last little troll session. We got Jordan putting the rods out. Yeah, and we're keeping it simple. We're gonna run one uh, planer rod with a, like a Bonita strip on it, and then we're gonna do one dive plug, the Nomad DTX 200, I believe it is, and then a feather. And we're just gonna be trolling between 130 to 160 feet of water, right off the coast of Key Largo. You can see land right over there. So we're just right off that reef's edge. We're just gonna troll between six to eight miles an hour and see what bites, maybe some kingfish and maybe a wahoo. Look up, buddy. Fish on, fish on. Didn't even have time to get the camera on. Yellow kingfish. All right. I was about to say early morning bite, but it's more like a late afternoon bite. Almost an evening. Wait, what time is it? It's 3.15 3 p.m. Oh, we're starting to go over some real nice bottom in 140 feet here. Sounds like kingfish territory to me. Come here, planer. Me. Straightening out, there we go. Okay, planer is off. Do you want to reel him on the, bring him to his side? Yeah. I think he's spinning. What is it? Yeah. He's got some size to him. Like, he's flailing out. Oh, what is that? Is that a kingfish? Should we just flick him in? Whoopsie daisy. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Nice to meet you. All right, that's a fish. Danger, danger. <laughs> or we could put him in here too. That works. Nice. I think my, I think it's clogged in there. Why is that water not draining out? There we go. There. I don't appreciate that, buddy. Sweet, dude, a kingfish, uh, heck yeah. I'm calling it the New Year's Kingfish. <clears throat> hey, look how good this thing is when it goes by. Oh, God damn. Dude, look Hold at on, that. hold on, I wanna get a video of that thing swimming. It's a good looking bait. Ah. Uh, Oh, we just had two nice marks, like 100 feet down. Two wahoo, just a little deep. Fish on, on the feather. <laughs> ah, he's coming in right down the middle. That could be deep drop bait for tomorrow. <laughs> you think it's a black fin? Come on, buddy. Or is that a... Oh, it's a baby bonita. That is going to become deep drop eight for tomorrow's video. We're gonna do some deep dropping tomorrow. So hit the subscribe button, buddies. Woo! Yeah, that's a nice little bait on the black and purple feather. Hey, look, I got two more. Oh, you got two more of them up there? Let's see that. They might all be brothers. They're all friends. <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. Is that a fish on still? No. He might just be small. All right, but there is a fish on. Okay, okay. Fish on. On the feather once again. They can't resist the feather. Oh, and we got good bottom right here. Oh, yep. Well, they're gonna be great baits, so that's, that's all right. Nice, funny little looking guy. Little Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy. Jimmy? Jimmy, today. Oh, on the feather again. I, this, this, this might feel a little bit better, I think. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. He hasn't breached the surface yet. <clears throat> oh, there he is. That looks like another tuna of some sort. 
we saw a bird circling so we trolled under the bird and looks like there is tuna under the bird oh the classic of the day the bonita at least we'll have plenty of bait tomorrow that could have just been the one-off odd bonita yeah there's i think there's a fish on here i don't know if i'm tripping or what but Dude, I picked up the rod and I just kind of started flicking it around and then all of a sudden something whacked it. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Come to daddy. Come here. This fish had all these New Year's resolutions all lined up, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to put an end to that. Yep. The classic. They're warm too. They're like nice and toasty. Well, we got the sun going down and just been catching a lot of little bonitas all afternoon, evening. And we're gonna do like five or 10 minutes of some high speed trolling now, see if that produces a bite. And that'll be the day. We got the strike point tackle walk over. Yeah, doing that high speed trolling now. We're doing 15 right now. That's pretty good, I think. We got the whole twain to ourselves. It's right in front of us. Oh, shit. Come on, let there be a... That'd be a hell of a way to end the day. We got birds in the water. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at all these birds. Goodbye, son. Dude, that thing's not climbing up. That's cool. Hey, they say what? Up to 22? Yeah. I don't even see Usually, like 15 to 17 is where we high speed. Yeah, it, it seems weird, right? Like that a wahoo would come up and eat that. If they see it, man, and they decide they want it, woo -hoo! I got a. That mark, the hook, my hook wahoo mark. All right. About to go over it. Elliot, yeah, give the camera a little roll. <laughs> All right, later, man. Big shout out to Jordan for coming out and helping me catch this kingfish and cutting it up. So I'm gonna make a recipe I've never done before. You know, I wanna keep it fresh. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make some jasmine rice and I'm going to cook the kingfish, we're gonna kind of like flash fry it in some oil with some garlic and onion seasoning on it, the South Florida Fishing Channel Fish and Game seasoning. We'll put the kingfish on top of the white rice and on top of that, we're gonna make a sauce. And I read this online, no idea what to expect, but it's gonna be a mixture of maple syrup and whiskey. And in this case, it's a bottle of Jameson that I found in the back crevices of all crevices it's never been opened but it looks like a hundred years old and then of course big shout out to the miller family for sending me this maple syrup all the way from uh, new york homemade maple syrup tapped from their own tree farm oh hey bud we got captain elliot of course excited for some fresh fish but let's take out the the kingfish here and let's uh elliot i'm gonna need you to move buddy i'll give you a piece in just a second but I'm gonna need you 
We need you to sutter yourself, pussycat. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks delicious. So we'll just run the knife along the uh, bloodline here and cut out over the skin. Wow. Look at that beautiful piece of kingfish that we have. <laughs> mm, very excited. You want to make sure you cut all the bloodline off the kingfish. Any of this red meat on here, I, it tends to be extremely fishy on a kingfish. So just get rid of that. Beautiful. And we're going to cut this into three manageable size pieces. Mm. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We're gonna wanna make sure that this fish is very dry so the seasonings will stick to it. So I'll just wrap it in paper towel for now. And Elliot is being a little bit of a problem child, which is fine because I cut him off a nice piece. I'm gonna chop it up. Elliot, I'm gonna need you to calm down there for a second. Okay, here, come here. Come on, bud. <laughs> yeah, lots of loves. Here you go, enjoy. Fresh kingfish. Ooh, that water is boiling. Okay, gonna lower the heat on that water. We're gonna put in our jasmine rice. Kablam. How long does that need? Um, eight minutes, okay. Set a timer for that. We're gonna take some olive oil and get it real nice and hot in our pan. Oh, am I out of olive oil? Oh, danger, danger. Come on, I know I got some olive oil around here. Yes! Okay, we're gonna get that olive oil very hot. What do we got here? Okay, it looks good, organic, sure. Sure you are. While we wait for this oil to heat up, we're gonna take our kingfish chunks and give them a nice garlic and onion seasoning. Okay. Oh, it smells. Woo! Some starting to smell a bit like heaven. Now for the sauce, I'm gonna do a very, very low heat and I'm just gonna slowly blend the maple syrup and the whiskey. I'm not sure what ratio to use. I also read that people like to use blackberry syrup, but I looked all over our stores and there is no blackberry syrup in our whole store, so that's a miss. Whoo, that maple syrup got sticky. That that was a hard top to take off. Okay, we're good though. Mmm, wow, that smells good. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we'll just pour a nice globber goob of that in there. Maybe a little more. Mm-hmm. Mmm, woo! And then for Jameson, well, I don't want to make it too overpowering, so maybe just, uh, whoop! That is definitely, that could have been too overpowering. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to maybe do it like a very light simmer, maybe simmer a little bit of that alcohol off of there, and that'll be our sauce. Just waiting for the oil to heat up now. That oil looks smoking hot. Let's drop in the king. Ooh, nice sizzle. Just what we want to hear. A little sizzle me timbers. Can we make them all fit? Let's try. And that should go fairly quick. Maybe a three minutes on each side or so. The rice is done. Take that out. Look at that. Let's give them a little flipperoo. Ooh, that's looking perfect. Damn. You can really smell that garlic. Those are looking crispy, perfectly cooked. We will lay them on our bed of rice. I'll just take two pieces out for now. The maple syrup whiskey sauce. I uh, heat it up for a little bit and I let it cool back down and let's put our finger in there. It's still pretty warm. Mmm. Yes. That is the perfect combo, the, the whiskey, 
the alcohol got burnt off a little bit, so it's just barely flavor of sweetness. There's a, there's no um, bite. But let's go ahead and just pour it right over the kingfish. Okay. There we go. Woo! Ooh, I love recipes that I've never made before because I just have no idea what to expect. That is, it's, that kingfish looks crispy, golden brown, but I can see the sticky sweetness of the maple syrup on top. So let's just, let's just do one nice chunk of fish, a little bit of rice on there. Damn, I, I'm not exaggerating at all. I cannot tell that this is kingfish. I can't even put my finger on it. This is a different dimension of flavor for me right now. I used to always say kingfish, you have to eat like the day you catch it or the next day. It's been two days and this is amazing. I mean, I would serve this to any one of my friends. Some people are skeptical about a uh, kingfish and I understand why it can be a little fishy of a flavor sometimes. This tastes like a white meat, like a snapper or something with that sweetness on it. Mmm, this is a home run recipe. Save this video. This one's for the books. We're making this one again. Mmm, all right, 2024. We are kicking it off right good recipes. Not the biggest fish, but you know, we went out there, we tried, we gave it our all, caught some bonitas, caught a nice kingfish, got ourselves dinner. We got ourselves a catch and cook. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. Lots and lots of content coming. If you want to support the channel, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Go get yourself some of our seasonings. You have to try the garlic and onion. Cover the kingfish in this stuff. Flash fry it and put it on some white rice and then put the maple syrup whiskey sauce on top. Woo! Thank me later. And thank you guys for watching this all the way to the end. Until next time, cheers.